interesting uh, new polls that came out, Fox News polls this morning, that show a majority of Americans are sort of shrugging off one of President Obama's biggest priorities for the second term, which is the issue of income equality or closing the income gap. Take a look at some of these numbers here. 62% say that they believe that income inequality is basically part of life. 21% say it's bad, but it's also not the government's problem. And 13% are angry about it and do want the government to get involved. That's 13% uh, at the bottom of the list there. Monica Crowley joins me now, a radio talk show host, of course, and a Fox News contributor. Monica, good morning. Uh, good to have you with us today. What do you make of these numbers? I'm actually very heartened by these numbers because I think what you've seen over the last five plus years is President Obama and the left working very hard to move this country away from a free market system based on individual responsibility and economic freedom toward a European style socialist state. And this is based on wealth and uh, redistribution, it's based on class warfare, all of the things that we have seen from Obama's administration and the left over so many years. So what has really heartened me about these numbers is it doesn't seem to be working, that it doesn't seem to be really resonating with the American people. I was very worried that he was going to get us to a tipping point where more people were dependent on government than not, that the private sector was going to shrink, and that the government sector was expanding so fast. What I see now in these numbers is that the American people are saying, wait a minute, not so fast. The United States was always a free market economy built, Martha, not on equality of outcomes, but equality of opportunity, and we want to get that back. I think a lot of people would like to see greater income equality quality in the form of jobs and helping people who are at the lower end of the of the spectrum to move up uh, rather than you know forcing that spread the wealth uh, idea which we saw in the, in the Joe the plumber soundbite uh, just a little while ago let's take a look at another one of these numbers uh, that we got uh, in the new Fox News poll as well uh, someone making lots of money means someone else has to make less 12 percent say yes that's right 84 percent say no it doesn't work that way. Yeah, again, another very heartening number because the argument from Obama and his team and the left is, look, we have to penalize those who are achieving, who have succeeded, who have more. We have to penalize them through higher taxes, higher corporate taxes, and so on, in order to redistribute that to those who have less. And what you see in that number is most Americans, the vast majority, are saying, wait a minute, no, that's not how America has always worked. It's not what's made us great and the most prosperous nation on the face of the mm -hmm. earth. What we need to do is get government out of the way to to unleash the individual, unleash the private sector so that they can achieve. What's so great about America, Martha, is that we've always been an aspirational society. So we've never been involved in envy or, or, or jealousy about those who have more. It's looking right. at Bill Gates any, Anybody saying, can make it here, Bill Gates philosophy. Has 50 billion, and you know what? If I work hard, I can build, be Bill Gates, too. It, one of the things I find interesting is, is that, you know, some folks in popular culture are trying, starting to kind of sing this tune as well. Not, not a lot, uh, but a few. And, and and Bill Murray is one of them, and Ashton Kutcher also. Bill Murray, in a recent interview, said that he believes that we have to take on greater personal responsibility, uh, that you can't look to somebody else to sort of fix your situation. And Ashton Kutcher, you know, several months ago, really caused, made a lot of waves uh, when at a huge, you know, People's Choice Awards benefit. He talked about opportunity. He said opportunity looks like a, a lot like a job. And he said, I never had a job that was beneath me. That's right. Um, and we see a lot of people dropping out of the workforce, not wanting to participate and not in many cases willing to take a job that they might see as, as beneath them. Because government policies under this administration have made it in many ways easier to sort of not work because the payoff is so much, much better. And I'm not talking about everybody. There's so many Americans who are out of work who do want to work. But the culture that's been created by this administration is it pays to stay at home or it pays to be on the government dole in whatever form. That's why you see the disability rolls exploding, unemployment still yeah. so incredibly stagnant, a weak economy. It's because the objective of the left is to lock as many people into government dependency as possible so that they get a permanent Democrat voting well, majority. If that is true, if that is the objective, it has worked politically. Well, politically, it's it's gotten them to a place where they never thought that they would be. Whether or not it's to that tipping point I talked about, yeah. where it's over 50 percent, I don't think we're there yet. And that's why this poll is so hopeful to me. There's And, you know, just back to one other issue in the polls, and we don't have this one to put up, but the unemployment. 55 percent think that giving unemployment benefits to people who've been out of work for a long time discourages them yes. for from looking for a job. That, yes. That's what 55 percent of the people believe. That's what believe. you see in all these studies, Martha. And, in fact, I wrote about this in my book that came out a year and a half ago. We 
when you look at European unemployment, and they have had really high, stubbornly high unemployment for decades because of socialist policies, you see that in Europe, when they roll back unemployment benefits, people actually go and look for a job. Yeah. You see that trend. You take away the it's amazing how when you don't get a check, home, you want to get one. That, that's exactly right. Uh, very interesting stuff. Thank you very much, Monica. Pleasure. Good to see you as always. Thank you. Thank you. Too. Thanks.